aerial power lines. They call them that because they're up in the air, a safe distance from people on the ground. When everything's working, they do their job very well. But when a transmission line develops a problem, the problem is that they're 30 to 200 feet off the ground. We routinely fly lines with a helicopter, but you can't get right on top of the insulator and then you can only get so close from looking at it from the ground. A new solution Entergy's trying out? Drones. Uh, there, there's physical size restrictions on where a helicopter can go. There's some places too small. Uh, you can't get down between the right of way and the trees, for example, or the, the, the transmission line and, and trees, whereas a, a drone could. You can get really close, you can really zoom in, you can make some fantastic pictures with them. You know, it's safer. You can do it from the ground. The drone can get up there close and take your camera, zoom up to it. And uh, so, uh, plus it's gonna save time. I mean, obviously if you got guys moving from one, one to the next and having to climb and, and all that, you can pick the drone up, weighs about 15 pounds, move down to the next one, put it back in the air and, and, uh, and be able to see it on the screen while you're there. During a trial run in McGee on a hot day in July, aerial patrol pilots put one of their drones through its paces. It was getting a close look at insulators on a transmission structure in a field of soybeans. Insulators are the non-metallic devices that separate the energized power line from the structure that holds it up. Small faults in these insulators can cause big problems, but they're difficult to see. Without knowing exactly which insulator is failing, technicians can usually narrow down the location of the fault to five or so structures. And Entergy sometimes will replace all the insulators on all the structures in that zone. This is effective, but not very efficient. If this drone technology, if we can expand on it, and it'll actually show us a, you know, an insulator that is starting to break down and may have been the problem to begin with, we can change one versus 10. So we're improving the system uh, immediately, and also we're saving uh, dollars. While drones have become extremely popular among hobbyists, getting FAA approval to use them for commercial purposes is no small matter. It took Aerial Patrol more than a year. We were the first ones, this was back in May, first ones in Arkansas to get this authorization to operate drones commercially. And as far as I know, we still are. I think it's gonna be good. I mean, we, we ran into some bugs today. Uh, kinda of expected it doing it the first time. But uh, I believe we've, uh, you know, it's like it's, you, you find what you gotta to do to, to make it to, to the next step. And I think today was a good trial and I think we're just gonna build on it. Uh, our goal each and every day when we come to work is to improve the reliability of our system for our customers. For Entergy, this is David Lewis.